They're beautiful, come in all shades, shapes, and sizes, but what are flowers and why are they so important? Today, we will look at the structure and purpose of these lovely little pops of color in this episode all about flowers. If you're like me, you really like flowers. But have you ever wondered why they're so appealing? The colors and smells that make me so fond of them also attract pollinators of all types. Plants reproduce in many ways, but one of the most common ways is through the use of flowers. Let's take a closer look at the main structures of a flower to learn more. Today, we are going to do a flower dissection. This is a lily. We are going to use this flower because it's large and the parts are easy to see and identify. Looking at the flower, we can see the stalk, which supports the flower and the petals. The flower petals are colorful and often scented. Their job is to attract pollinating animals to the flower. They come in all shapes and sizes, and they often look brighter to insect eyes than our human eyes. Next is the style. It supports our next structure, the stigma, right here on top. The stigma is the female part of the flower and either has a sticky tip or fine little hairs to trap all the pollen. This pollen is the fine yellow grains found on the tubular structure called the anther, which contains the plant's male reproductive cells. Each anther sits on top of a long filament called the stamen. This is all we have left. But then if we open up this part, we can see the ovary. This part of the flower contains the female reproductive cells called ovules, which are fertilized by the pollen. So now that we know all of our flower structures, let's take a look at different flowers with a macro lens to see if we can spot each structure. If you're still here liking this video and getting any benefit from it, please show your support by hitting that like button and most importantly, please subscribe. Here you can see a stigma with hair-like structures. It's surrounded by pollen-coated anthers. This flower has several styles topped with sticky stigma surrounded by clusters of those anthers coated in pollen. You can see them, they're yellow. Here is the fertilization process. When pollen lands on a flower stigma, it grows a tiny tube that travels through the style, taking the male pollen cells to the ovary. The male cells join with the female cells in the ovules. After fertilization, the ovary develops into a fruit with seeds inside. This fruit that we're talking about isn't always something that we can eat, but all of our fruit that we do eat is produced this way. The next time you are on a walk or in a garden, stop, take a closer look at the flowers. See if you can spot all of the structures we learned about today. If you wanna to learn more about seeds, you can check out this video next.